All right. Shalom, Shalom, Yashirala. This is another GMS Raleigh collaboration once again through the spirit of Pahyaha I'm Brother Nakwam. I'm Brother Pasha. I'm Brother Nakwam. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Once again, this is a GMS Valley collaboration once again through the Spirit. But before we go any further, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there on the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% true according to the Bible and Ruel and Shalom to all the Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth pushing the names of Yahweh by Shimei Asha out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know? And the lesson we're going to go into is that, uh, that, you know, how this word cleanses us, man. You see, this is the center around this lesson right here because this is very important. You know, it's important to know that by us having these scriptures, this is what spiritually cleanses us day by day. So, Godal, uh, bring out yours. Bring out that Psalms 119 and 9, Baba Kasha. Uh. Whenever you got it, you can read it. Psalms 119, verse 9. Yep. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Right. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Meaning how? How can an Israelite man, because that's who it's referring to, because it begins with the men, okay? Then it trickles on down. How do we cleanse our way as Israelites, man? Read on, my brother. And that's the key word right there, taking heed to the word, man. What's the word? The Bible, okay? We obey uh, what the Bible says to the best of our abilities. And you know what that shows? That shows the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord, we know according to the Bible, is the beginning of the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the scriptures, man. So every day in our lives, when we take heed according to the scriptures, to the best of our abilities, that's how we get those impurities or that filth, a.k.a. sins, cleanse the from off of us, man. Okay? This word is a spiritual shower. Bring out that uh, Ephesians 5 and 26, Baba Kasha. You know? And that's how important, you know, taking heed according to the scriptures, man. That's the importance because the sins that we commit, you know, of course, we can't wash them all away. Because we got to wait for Lawyer Howard Shah to come and do that. But, you know, we can get as much as we can by taking heed according to this, what the scriptures say. To the best of our abilities. Read that, brother. Ephesians 5, verse 26. Mm -hmm. That he might sanctify and cleanse it mm -hmm. with the washing of water. By the word. And when you go into that word sanctify, it means to be set apart, which that goes into being holy, man, that he may make holy, you know what I'm saying, and cleanse it by the washing of water by the word, man. You see, what's the word? The scriptures. And what is the scriptures? Ultimately, Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ, man, you know, and we're going to get that precept, Lord is willing. You know, in First John, the first chapter. Read that one more time, Robert Kashaga Dow. Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-six. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. And by the way, this is the apostle Paul talking to the Israelites in Ephesus, man. Okay, so it's still referring to the Israelites, man. They are the only ones uh, that can get cleansed, man. Okay, because why? Because we're the we're the only ones that can be uh, that can give remissions of sins, man. But this is going to start with the elect on this side, man. All right. 
That was it on that one? Huh. Bring out that last one. I think it uh, was a St. John 15 and 3. Huh. Let's give a look at Howard Shaw, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ said himself, man. St. John 15, verse 3. Yep. Now, ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now, Lawyer Howard Shah was actually on the scene when he made that statement, okay, over 2,000 years ago with the, his disciples, which later on became apostles. He said, now are you clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now, in these times, Lawyer Howard Shaw is spiritually with us, all right? With what? Because we got the scriptures, man, and then we got the understanding behind the scriptures, okay? So that's how we're being made clean spiritually, man, you know, by taking heed thereto according to what the word says, according to what Lawyer Howard Shaw says, man, to the best of our abilities. That's why we do what we do. We keep our hard holy days. We keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our abilities, man, because why? Because we ultimately fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushah and have faith in the prophecies and in the Lord. That was on that, brother? Yeah, that's it. Hey, Godal, you can go ahead and grab that first John 1 and 7, Baba Kusha. If you mean Kapash or Godal? Yeah, I mean Kapash. Salaki, my brother. Okay. Salaki. Yes, sir. Um, this is First John, the first chapter in the seventh verse reads, "But if we walk in the light, yep, as He is in the light, right? See, as we if we walk in the light, what's the light? The light represents the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, which is ultimately Lawyer Howard Shaw, Saint John eight and twelve. Man, Lawyer Howard Shaw says that he was that light. Okay, mm -hmm. read on." Right, see, the blood of Yahweh Shah cleanses us from all sin, man. Okay, that's the importance of Lord Yahweh Shah and what he did, man. Okay, and Lord Yahweh Shah himself, of course, was the physical manifestation of the Bible, man, of the scriptures, man. Okay, but through his sacrifice and what he did, fulfilling the prophecies about him, you know, it, 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 uh, it, it gave us an opportunity for us to have remission of sins, man. What sin is the breaking of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible? Read on. Okay, that was the end of. But you want to go on reading? Oh, that that, that that was it on that one. Yeah. Okay, Tom. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring out that next precept. Uh, the, eight, the eight verse reads: If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Right, and that's the mindset. Of these are, that's these other groups, man. You got this one group that I'm thinking about saying that they're perfect, man. That they can keep all the law, statutes, commandments on this side, man. Which that's completely incorrect. And that's a proud statement. And the Lord ain't dealing with the proud, man. Matter of fact, the scripture says, Pride go up before destruction and the Holy Spirit before a fall. So they about to be deleted real, real soon, man. If they don't repent. You don't, that, that was it on that one? No, it doesn't. more. Okay. Right, then the truth is not in them, man. Because we hear a great millstone, we acknowledge that we sin, that we mess up because we in this flesh, man. We know that we can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, of the, all the uh, the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly, man. Okay? But these other groups out here, they walking like they're, they're holier than thou, man. Okay? Which they don't even keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible themselves, man. They're a bunch of hypocrites, which hypocrites means actors. That was in the net? Yeah, there's nine, though. You, you might want to go to nine. All right. Nine, nine. All right, well, let's see what now, it says. If we, yeah, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our, of, you know, our sins. Right, see? And that's the humble. That's, the, that's dealing with the humility right there, man. You know? Right. If we confess, a.k.a. acknowledge our sins, you know, which that's, that's, that's being humility, that's humility right there. That goes into accountability as well. Like it says in Micah, the seventh chapter, 
we would bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against him, man. Okay? Until he plead right. our cause. Right. Read on. And to, right? And it goes on to say, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, man. What's unrighteousness? Sin, man. Okay? So, that's what acknowledging our sins you know what I'm saying? And taking heed according to what the scripture says does for us, man. It cleanses us for our wickedness, man. Okay? Right. We we offending less to Yahweh by Shemi Shah when we walk in a contrite heart and humility and fear in the Lord, man. That was that, that was it on that one? A little more. One more verse. All right. See, so, hey, that's the day. The two thirds of our people, man, they in trouble, man. Beginning with those who know that they're Israelites, okay? Because they got that proud spirit on them, man. Okay. Right. Read on. And his word is not in us. Right. And then the word, which is Lord Yahweh Shah, aka that light, the spirit of the Lord ain't in them, man. That's why they teaching right. everything. And they added and take it away from the word because they don't got the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, a.k.a. that fear in them, man. So if they don't repent, you know what I'm saying, and come out that nonsense that they teaching, the Lord's going to delete them, man. Grab that next precept, brother. That's all on that. All right, can I get, uh, what's that, Hebrews 10 and 22? Robert Kashaw. Let me see this Ephesians. Full assurance, man. We can't waver in this thing, man. Talking to myself first and foremost. You know, we gotta try, we gotta draw near to you. How about she not shot with a sincere heart and know that this is a, a sure thing, man? Lord Yahweh Shah has to be our foundation so we can stand firm. So cause Lord Yahweh Shah is that rock, man. So when that persecution, aka that rain, start beating on the house, man, which it did a, a little by little, we're, we're still able to stand, man. And stand firm in the faith. Read on. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. Mm -hmm. and, and our bodies washed with pure water. Right, our bodies washed with pure water, man. What's the pure water? The, the truth, man. The knowledge of wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. All right, because that goes into spiritually, man. Okay? So, hey, that, that that's the importance of taking heed according to the scriptures. It, it cleanses us, man. Okay? Just like gold is shot in the fire, this water, this truth is living water, so it cleanses us. All right? Well, that's all on that verse, unless you want to go. Uh, no, nah, that, that was it on that. Uh, did, you, did you hold anything else? I'm holding Isaiah. Yeah, holding uh, yeah. Yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, grab that right quick. The Isaiah 1 to 16. Right. And Isaiah 1 to 16. Read. Wash you. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Right. See? See to do evil. Exactly. See? And how do you do that? Psalms 119 and 9. By taking heed thereto, according to what the scriptures say, to the best of our abilities, man. Okay? Because that's going into the course spiritually. All right? So when we take heed and we fear the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it cleanses us, man. It keeps us away from sin. Okay? And it fending less to the Lord. That was it on that. Yeah. You want 17? Nah, 16 is the point. So, yeah, so Lord's Window is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemar Shah. Once again, this is GMS Rider Collaboration. Till next time, Lord's Window, we say Shalom.